They may seem like the latest war machines, but there's just one small difference. These near-perfect replicas belong to the Radio Control Armor Battalion of Singapore. It's a hobby group that attracts working professional students and full-time national servicemen. They share a common passion in these miniature war machines, which are slowly advancing in popularity. The yeah, replica is very, very realistic. Uh, based on sound, the recorded sound from the real tank, the functions-wise, uh, the details, everything. So we learn a lot uh, from uh, how they build, how they perform. So when we drive the tank, uh, we can really feel that uh, how this tank really uh, battle, do battle in World War II. Uh. It's usually a face-off between two groups, the German-made tanks against the American ones. An infrared battle system simulates the experience of a firefight. To survive, it usually takes a mix of teamwork, strategy, and skill. When you are playing it, it's when the fun comes in, when it comes to maneuvering. Uh, you have the tents and you start to go uh, gabra, you forget what's going on and you just try to run away. So what's the price of war? Ready assembled tanks can cost up to 10,000 Singapore dollars. That's about 7,000 US dollars. But you can avoid blasting a hole in your pocket by building it from scratch. Low-end tanks start from as little as a few hundred Singapore dollars to nearly $2,000 for the latest models. This one is a, another area of uh, enjoyment. You don't enjoy only on the playing part, you enjoy on the assembling part. Is bring a bring a model to life. That's the difference between a computer game and assembling a model. The club hopes to expand and build enough interest to travel to Japan and the United States for competitions.